So now we're going to do an overview of all of asset pricing theory. Uh, I'm going to do in this uh, lecture pretty much a, a preview of where we're going with everything to get the big ideas together, and then we'll circle back and do everything in more detail. And now, the preview of the preview. <laughs> so what's asset pricing theory about, anyway? Uh, our big question is, what is something worth? Assets are anything that promises you a stream of future cash flows. Think of a stock, a bond, a piece of real estate, a real investment, like building a factory. All of those things have in common. You put in some money now, and some money comes back later on. You don't know quite when you're going to get it, and you don't know quite how much you're going to be. So our question is, when you're promised a stream of cash flows, what's that stream of cash flows worth? That's why we call it asset pricing. Now, this would be easy, except for time and risk. Uh, the stream of cash flows, who knows when you're going to get it, and who knows how much you're going to actually get. So accounting for time and risk is what everything in our theory is about. Once you can have a formula for what's something worth, that can also be useful for calculating derivatives. How much would the value change if something happened in the world? If oil prices go up, how does my portfolio get affected? If interest rates goes up, does my bank blow up? Risk management, the art of risk management is guessing how things will change if things in the environment change. And once you have the, the, the value itself, you can calculate uh, derivatives and do risk management. Our approach is going to be actually very simple in terms of economics. Uh, if you remember from microeconomics, this graph, apples versus oranges, a budget constraint, an indifference curve, that's just what we're going to do. We're going to look at prices relative to people's preferences. Uh, so that piece, that picture can lie with you, even when the equations get a little bit complicated. I want to emphasize our approach is the equilibrium approach. We're not looking for great investment opportunities. Well, well we are. But first, we're going to see to what extent can we explain existing prices as equilibrium compensations for risk. This can be useful even if you want to go invest. At least you want to know if what's out there is a compensation for risk. And then if the prices don't obey that, then you might have had something, found something that you could buy and make money at. So our question is, what will the market look like after everybody's invested, after they've done the best they can, after prices reflect uh, the equilibrium compensations for risk, which is at least an important baseline. Now, where are we going to go? Our goal for the rest of today is to derive the basic asset pricing formula. So the way our theory works is this formula. Price is expected, discounted by marginal utility payoff. That's it. I often write this in simplified form, mp equals e of mx, where m stands for all that stuff. And once you've done this 20 times, you'll know where to put the t's and the t plus 1's. So that won't be a big, uh, a, a big stumbling block. So our goal is first, understand this basic asset pricing formula. And then, over six weeks, everything in finance, all the theory of finance, derives from that basic formula. So today, we'll understand the basic formula and then see an overview of how all the classic issues of finance drop out of that basic formula. I hope you're excited to see how it works. Thank you.